Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making meatloaf muffins for y'all today. And here's all the ingredients, it's everything that you'll need. But I'll let her explain everything to you and walk you through it now. Okay, first thing you're gonna need is your ground beef. I got three pounds here, but you can uh, cut that in two if you want to. It's according how big your family is. You know, we got six here, so this is what we're gonna be using. Uh, it's uh, ground beef, put it in your uh, bowl there. And then uh, this right here is two uh, peppers, bell, bell peppers. peppers. And here's two uh, medium-sized onions. And we're gonna put all that in here. So that's two bell peppers, two onions. Yeah. I like a lot of bell peppers and onions in our meatloaf. And then uh, we're gonna put a little bit of canned milk. It kind of makes it stick together. So it's that's what Paul milk. says anyway. Evaporated milk, yeah. So that's just, uh, just probably about two or three tablespoons is what's in this can right here. Or one third cup, something like that. And then we're gonna use our three eggs. These are farm fresh eggs. Yeah, my farm fresh eggs that my girls laid me. I'm going to pull this all down here so I can get to everything. This is my farm fresh eggs. I put in there three of them. And then we uh, put this in there. We need uh, about a cup of it. It's our uh, bread crumbs. Plain breadcrumbs, but if you don't have breadcrumbs, you can use regular bread like this. Yeah. You could just chop up uh, little chunks of this regular plain bread or I'll honey wheat. I'll probably have to tear some in there anyway. Uh, this first time I use this, breadcrumbs like this. I always use the light bread. That's what mom used, but uh, I said, I'm gonna try this. So we're gonna do a cup of this. Cup of this and cup of that. And We'll have our meatloaf. And I always put oats in my uh, meatloaf. I use about a cup of it. Oh. Sure. This is quick cook rolled oats. And I always put a little bit of salt. This is one, one cup of this oats. Probably about a tablespoon of salt. Eyeballed it. A little bit of garlic. Uh, about a tablespoon. And then, of course, our uh, ketchup. This makes it stick, too. Yeah. Oh, there goes my gloves. And, of course, you need your gloves. Yeah, you need any type of gloves that you could get to cover your hands. And try to save some of your... Uh, uh, ketchup to go on top after you take it out. Yeah, so probably half of this bottle yeah. went into there already, and then the other half will be uh, saved for afterwards. Yeah, or, or about that much. Yeah, it's about half. Or... Yeah, something like that. And then, of course, you're going to need your gloves unless you want to do your hands, which I used to do my hands, but I got gloves, and I'm going to put gloves on. Won't be so gooey. Yeah, so, and this is a meatloaf muffins. Okay. Yeah. And if y'all want to see her regular meatloaf recipe, you can find it on the playlist that says My Mama's Secret Recipes. Yeah. She's made it at least once that I know of, and it's one of the most popular recipes we have on this channel. Yeah, so then you just dig right in here. Get it all together. Mix it all up real good. And then we're going to do a topping for this, too. It'll be a mashed potato topping. Yeah, we'll show you all that at the yeah, end of this end video. Of Whenever this is done, we'll show you all that part. You got to put this in the oven on 350. I think it's for about 30 minutes or 35. I have to put my glasses on to see. Did you see what I done? I was going to show it to Corey. Yeah. I think it's about, might be about a half hour, about 30 minutes, I guess, 35 minutes. You just have to watch it to see, but I'll tell you in a little bit. But you 
just keep going around, getting it all in there good. And uh, if you see it's too thin and needs to be thickened up a little bit, then you just put some more oats in it or bread, either one. Bread is real good in it. So it's whatever you like. Sometimes this stuff turns out good and sometimes it don't. I used to be a terrible uh, meatloaf maker. It would always fall apart, but the last couple times I made it, it's done good. So, and they say, well, it's good. And my gloves are coming off. Yeah, it's good, but it just uh, fall apart. How y'all like getting here and do this? I know the kids would love it probably. I can hear little kids now want to get in there and do this. You know, I do like cooking, but the only part of cooking <laughs> that I don't like is uh, touching raw meats. Yeah. That's the only part that I don't like of cooking. Now, I have done this without the gloves before, but I'd rather do it with gloves. Somebody's done come and seen me. I know y'all told me last time, when your towel falls off, somebody's will come and see you. Well, Sharon's done being here today. So, and I think I'm going to put a little bit more of bread in it. So we're going to take these off and put them aside. And I'm going to put a little bit more of this bread in it. And you just tear it up in little bitty pieces. Needs to be thickened a little bit more, I think. And we got big muffin pans to use. It's not the um, little tiny muffin pans. It's like mediums. I hear they are. Yeah. So we get this all tore up. We'll spray our pan, put it in the oven. I already got my, uh, my oven heated up. It is, I'm gonna use all this right here. Um, so you preheat your oven, 350. And I'll have to put my glasses on and look and see what it is on here. I think that's about seven slices of uh, bread. Bread, yeah, down here would be, how much does it say down here? I can't see it. Oh, I can't see it either. I don't even know if it says. Well, let me see. I'm trying to see where it says how long to do it. 350 for 30 minutes, I think is what it says. Yeah, 30 to 40 minutes right there. And you just have to kind of look at it and say it because everybody's oven is different. But yeah, my friend come up today. She done her special uh, uh, pasta salad. We'll be uploading it. Every time we have a dinner or something, we ask her to bring her pasta salad because it's so good. And we made a big bowl of it today. And now we're making meatloaf. Yeah, whenever this video goes up, the pasta salad she's talking about, it'll be up the day before, so it'll be already up before this video goes up. Yeah. So you just get this all mixed in there now. Yeah, I love meatloaf. I'm a meat person myself. Meat and potatoes. I really like meat and potatoes. We like mountain hillbilly food. Country food. That's what we like. We always like uh, meat. West Virginia people hunts their deer, their squirrels, turkeys, a little bit of everything. We like our meat. I think we had a tour one time and you show, we showed you the people that has a lot of cows around here. Yeah, this is about right. This feels about right. So, now I'll show you what we're gonna do now.
was going to try to save this glove, but maybe not. I'll take this off. I'll go ahead and take this off. Now, here we go. Let's. We're going to take our canola or any kind of spray that you have and just spray each one. Make sure they come out. And I don't know how many this will make. I haven't made it in muffins before, so. I know it's a lot of spray, but I'll make sure it gets in there. Then we're gonna take our spoon and we'll do one at a time here. And if I have any left over, then we'll uh, put in a pan. So we're gonna try to get this in here like that. Try not put too far, try to leave it down a little bit. And here we'll take our hands and push it in, in there. If your hands are clean, why not? Somebody said, that's what God gave us hands for. That's right. But I think this is going to be really good. Yeah, just push it down in there. I'm going to put a little bit more in this. Don't want it too far though. Don't want it too far. This spoon is perfect to do that with. I like a lot of peppers and a lot of onions in my meatloaf. So it should be good. Papa does too. He likes his onions. Yeah, try not to get it too full. It's hard to be running over. And there's one. I was really hoping you was gonna get that little piece on the side. <laughs> it was just bothering me sitting there. Yeah. Fill your muffin pans up almost to the top. Uh, and I think they will rise a little bit too, so they're going to be sticking up a little bit more than that maybe. Yeah. And yeah. plus the mashed potatoes topping, we'll show all that at the end of this video. Yeah, after after it gets done, then you get them out and you put it on a plate with the, and then you put the mashed potatoes on top. It would even be good to have gravy. There's a piece of that bread. Come on now, get down in there. Yeah, we might have some left over. Uh, any leftovers, you could just put it in a regular pan yeah. and bake it, it will turn into meatloaf. That's what I'm gonna do. I got a little square pan somebody sent me. They sent me these two, and I'm <clears> just gonna put it in that. Meatloaf's real good if you can get it fixed right. My mom used to make a lot of meatloaf. Meatloaf and uh, chicken, squirrel, quail, pheasant. That's the kind of meat we had when we was growing up. I don't remember having bacon or sausage. But mom used to put stuff in her meat, her uh, hamburger to stretch it too. 
I think the uh, only time we got hamburger was on payday Fridays. Dad would uh, either get hot dogs and we'd have hot dogs or once in a, maybe once a month, we would have hamburgers. And, uh, but now, and we had pop once a week. Had Kool-Aid, mom used to fix us Kool-Aid. But we didn't have pop but once a week. How would you like that, Corey? I don't know if I can handle that. I drank a lot of pop. <laughs> I, that might be my only weakness is soda pop. And I got a low blood pressure and low blood sugar, so I actually have an excuse to drink it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I have a bottle of Mountain Dew sitting beside of my bed. If I don't, when I get up in the mornings, I get sick at my stomach and my um, uh, sugar drops. And I have to have that uh, something sweet, so I always. And if I drink pop on a night, just don't, like when I get to go to the bathroom or something, then uh, when I get up in the mornings, if I do that, I don't get real sick at my stomach. And I can wait to breakfast before I, you know, before I used to not drink pop at night time, and, and I would get deathly sick of the mornings. Around, I could wait till about nine o'clock and then my sugar would drop and I'd have to hurry up and go get me something. So, there's these two. I'm gonna go and I'll get the pan. You wanna I'll just put these in the oven and we'll do oh, the yeah, other part off that. camera? We'll do that off camera, can't we? Okay, I'm gonna put the other one in a little square pan that the person sent me these, and she sent me a little square pan. Here, hold it. Oh, you can do that. But here we go. And probably about 40 minutes, you check it. 30 to 40 minutes on 350. Uh, and we're going to clean up the table and we're going to make the mashed potatoes and get those ready for the topping and we'll clean the table because Mama's going to do a little bit of reading for y'all once we get back. Yeah. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Uh, as soon as it's done, 30 to 40 minutes in the oven. Yeah. We'll be right back. Love y'all. Yes, we do. All right, we're back, y'all. This is what it looks like after you get it out of the oven whenever it's fully done. And you do have to put ketchup on there. Well, you don't have to. If you don't want to put the extra ketchup on there, then you don't have to. But if you do want to, then you put it on there, just like a spoonful on each one. And then you spread it out and you put it back in there for about two minutes just to, to melt I'm the ketchup. Bit, yeah. And now we're going to take it out and put them on here and put our potatoes on them. Here's our potatoes that we made to put on them. all these and if uh y'all want to see how she makes it because she puts butter salt and pepper and boils them and stuff like that there's a few uh, steps that you have to do these are homemade mashed potatoes from uh, peeled potatoes it's not the box stuff but if y'all want to see how she makes these you can find it on the playlist that says my mama's secret recipes so we're taking them out now putting them over here we're gonna take these out right here and then we're going to show you and they seem to be holding together pretty yeah. well. And then you just take a little bit of mashed potatoes. This spoon here might be too big. So I'm gonna get one of my uh, tablespoons. Here's this flat one here, but. Huh? I'm gonna take this one. Uh -huh. Cause I believe it'll do better. And this is the topping. This is what you put on your potatoes. Just a spoonful of mashed potatoes. And you can put more when you put it on your plate. I know one thing, when you buy meat anymore, it is so greasy. That yeah, must be what they're feeding the cows because before it didn't used to be real greasy like this. Ground beef is pretty. And there's our pretty meatloaf muffins. Yeah, and uh, I think that you could be calling meatloaf cupcakes too. Yeah. So uh, let us know in the comments if we should call it meatloaf muffins or meatloaf cupcakes. And whichever one I name it or whichever one gets the most votes is what I'll change the title to. <laughs> so I'll make it a meatloaf muffins at first. But if there's more people that vote for a meatloaf cupcake, 
then I'll change the title to Meatloaf Cupcake. So let us know in the comments which one you think the name should be. Yeah. Uh, and that's our meatloaf. Then I'm going to read a few verses for you. And I'm going to be in Isaiah, the 41st verse or chapter. And I'm going to start with the 10th verse. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And behold, all they that were in sins against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contend with thee. For thy, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Now, ain't that the truth? Amen. God will help us no matter what our situation is. He'll be there for us and he'll take care of us. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you, Lord, just thanking you and praising you for your love, Lord. Thanking you for being there and helping us through each thing that we go through, Lord Jesus. No matter what it is, Lord, we thank you for helping us, Lord. I ask you to be with our YouTube family, Lord Jesus. Uh, and, Lord, just be with them, Lord. You see their needs, Lord, and you know all about them, Lord. Uh, just help them to trust in you, Lord, knowing that you're there and that, that you are their help, Lord. Uh, and that you will help them through anything that they may go through, Lord. We love you and we honor you, Lord. Have your way in all things, Lord. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And here's our book. We put all the requests in this book. Uh, when we see the comments uh, on our videos or if I get letters and stuff, we always put uh, in our book. And this says, We are ambassadors for Jesus Christ, standing at the gates of hell, turning the lost back to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's what we as Christians should be doing. We should be standing at the gates of hell and having and uh, warning the uh, lost out there that they need to turn to the Lord. And the devil don't like that, does he? But we're going to continue to do it no matter what he says. So that's what we have to do. We have to stand firm on his word. We love y'all and we thank y'all. Yeah. No. Like she explained, this is the prayer book. If y'all have any prayer requests, let us know in the comments or in a letter or however you want to send it to us. And you'll go into this book uh, and they pray over it every day and every night. Yeah. Y'all always in our prayers. Always. And what she was saying about us standing out the gates of hell. I actually heard a preacher one time preaching that. And I don't remember if it was over Pax Church or where, but somebody was saying that you, if you want to go to hell, you have to wade through the love of uh, Jesus uh, Christ first to get there. Mm -hmm. So you have to wade through his love to be able to make it to hell. So you must really want to go there. If, yeah. If you end up there, you must have wanted to go there. Yeah. It's your choice. Your choice. You know, you either want to go to heaven, and why would anybody want to go to hell? I never understand it. You know, but there's a lot of people out there that's firmly against Jesus Christ. You know, they want to go in their own way and do their own thing. But one thing about it, one day after a while, they wish they'd listen to the preachers and people that was trying to warn them, you know. But uh, y'all take care. We love y'all. And uh, it's uh, about 6.30 here, 7.30 here. And uh, we're going to get ready here and go to bed after a while. <laughs> yeah, it's nap time for us yeah. here. <laughs> I didn't take no nap today, so I'll go to bed early, which I go to bed early every night. <laughs> Except church nights. Yeah. So... We'll talk to you later. Well, I guess that's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you are still watching at this part, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Share us to Facebook. Check out the merch shop. The link is in the description. Tell them about the, the thing, Corey. I forgot about the giveaway box. Oh, yeah, the giveaway box. We haven't talked about that in a while, but anybody who sends a card, we'll be doing a giveaway on it. Uh, we'll put all the cards from each month into a box and we'll do a drawing once a month at yeah, the end of the month. The of the month. And we've already done it once, but we're going to be doing it again at the end of this month. We already got another box ready to go and we're filling it up with stuff. We'll, we keep adding stuff to it until it's filled up and we send it out to a random 
person but we'll do a video on that too of us drawing it so y'all see who the person that gets picked is yeah so anybody who sends a card just make sure to put your address on the inside yes and inside. so you can be entered into the drawing yeah that's just our way of saying thank you that we love you yeah. for all your support and what y'all do for us yeah and we really do love y'all for everything y'all do for us like she said yes we do but god bless y'all we'll see y'all in the next one amen for any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. It's like a call. laminated almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube. It started with my chickens and it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss and me and Corey and this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me and there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer and uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church. And uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here, and, and it uh, shows the main dishes, and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the, I can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the... One of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. Yeah. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes... Uh, there's... From 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost so it's just thirty dollars for the book and that's it yeah and you could send it in paypal here's the information here if you wanted to order one then you could send it to the p.o box here you could send money order a check cash whatever you want to send that's up to you but you send it to this p.o box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yeah. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it and if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then, and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your address in the order whenever you send the money through Cash App or PayPal. You could put your address there and we'll send it out. I'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it. Yeah, 